Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico. And if you're new to the channel, we ask one question here, which is, do they write them and sing them like they used to? A lot of people, young and old, they remind me all the time that the old music is better, but I am not so sure. I'm very open-minded about the 21st century. And that's the, that's what this channel is about. I'm an older person who's enjoying new music instead of a younger person reacting to old classic rock. So we're doing a, a flip here. And yeah, and anyway, uh, today, as you see from the thumbnail, we're going to check out Kamasi Washington. Uh, so I've heard him before. This won't be a first listen, but it will be a first listen to anything from this year. So I selected the song Prologue. It's the single. It's uh, pretty long, I think. I think it's like nine minutes. But anyway, he's a tenor saxophone player from Los Angeles, California, highly rated. And I, I've enjoyed his music, but I don't know a lot about him, and I haven't listened to a lot of his catalog. So let's go ahead and hit it up. Hit that like or subscribe button. It really helps. And in fact, you could uh, you could do it now. Right? There's a thought. Anyway, it helps the algorithm. Really appreciate it. So, yeah, let's check it out. I'm looking forward to this. This is official video. <laughs> Oh, I got a lot to say about that. That that was interesting because right away, I, 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 you know, I didn't know what to think right away. I'm like, am I going to like this? We, we get a little synthesizer bit. And then it sounds, it's got a melody that reminds me of, uh, you know, Broadway, the theater. It's got kind of a dramatic melody, uh, but in, in come these uh, drums. And, and so the way I heard the song was you had this opening and closing melody 
But then you had this uh, percussive element come in, which reminded me of something like Curtis Mayfield. It was really interesting the way that the drums, the congas, and the piano was used as a percussive instrument, and they just went, they just played together and separately in this really interesting moving thing. And it was like a bed. It was like a bed that the music rested on. And it didn't sound like jazz at all to me. But then that trumpet came in, that blistering trumpet, pure jazz, just pure jazz. And then the saxophone solo that followed that. And that was, that was jazz. But the bed underneath was something different. It was a little bit of R&B, funk, Broadway, kind of this, uh, like, yeah, it was like a cross between Wynton Marsalis and Curtis Mayfield. It was interesting, you know. Like I say, it just laid there as a very percussive, dynamic bed, and then they just improvised or played the notes over it. That trumpet player, I got to look up his, or, or her, but I, I presume it's a, a he, that... Uh, <laughs> You saw my reaction. Uh, yeah, I just went like, ouch, you know. <laughs> that trumpet was so good. And then the sax comes in, though, and it, it doesn't come in blistering. It comes in with a slower tempo. And then he picks up the speed, and then he does that uh, screeching at the end of the solo that's just bordering on avant-garde. But for as a whole, there was nothing avant-garde about this piece. It was easy to figure out and easy to listen to but the way the elements were brought together was unique so i've heard congas like that before and bass like that before and drums kind of similar uh, all the all the elements were familiar but it was just put together as a as a little um gumbo you know if you will that was unique yeah i loved it going to give it an A+. Plus. I thought it was fantastic. And the video was nice just with the dancing. Uh, no no storyline or anything like that. So it was perfect. These videos don't do quite as well when we do jazz. Uh, but I, I love jazz. And, 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 and any good 21st century jazz, like we did Snarky Puppy a couple times. And now this, great stuff. Love it. Yeah, love jazz. That's it. As we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia. <laughs>